is another brand new week. And welcome to another brand new episode of our weekly devotion with yours truly. You know, I believe all of us will face hostility sometimes in our lives. And when that happens, what should we do? Apostle Paul had those experiences many, many times in his ministry. He and his newly formed church in Thessalonica were faced with fierce and hostile opposition in their belief in Jesus Christ. Well, Paul's life was even threatened and so were the new believers. How does one win the respect of such contentiousness in a hostile environment? Well, in his effort to encourage his followers not to give up their belief in Christ, he advised them actually to do three things so that their, day, their daily lives will win the respect of others so that they will not be dependent on anybody. anybody. Meaning, they can actually win the respect of these people and also maintain some self-respect within themselves. Today, if we find ourselves in unfriendly environments, these are the very same attitudes or things that we should learn to imitate. The three attitudes that we should adopt as our life practices are found in the preceding verse to verse 12. So in verse in First Thessalon in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, Paul wrote, Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you. And then in verse 12, he wrote, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on others. There are two so that's. So that means it's an like outcome of those three attitudes that you will win respect and then you also have some self-respect. So the three attitudes to adopt to win the respect of others and have some self-respect is number one, learn to be peaceful. In a state of panic, we often make matters worse when we try to do too much or even overcompensate. We need to learn to remain calm, hold our peace, because less, less is more sometimes. It is about finding that inner peace within uh, amid the turmoil. Inner peace, when we have that, calms our minds and allow us to see our path much clearer, helping us focus and keep track of our goals. You know, having clear goals is like having a compass. You know where you want to go, you aim for it and commit to the road. Trusting that all obstacles are actually worthy challenges rather than intimidating threats. Do you know where you're going to? <laughs> the question is, how do we find this peace? The Greek word for quiet that was used here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11 is hazukazo. It means to cease, to stop, to hope is to be quiet, to rest. And this is a time where we need to go into the presence of God. And that's where you will find peace, love, and joy. Don't retaliate. Don't be vindictive because it will just make the environment to be even more hostile than what it was. Three attitudes to adopt to win the respect of others and have some self-respect. Number one, be peaceful. Don't be roughed easily. And number two, mind your own business what is happening with your adversaries is not our problem <laughs> what happened to our adversaries is their problem not our problem focus on our own self-development and try not to mix that with what others are doing or saying don't get caught up about others that you may be carrying their crosses at your own personal expense without you knowing it. You know, you have your own personal cross to carry. I have my own personal cross to carry. When you carry other people's crosses now, you are double cross. <laughs> Here are some benefits of minding your own business. Number one, minding your own business gives you more control. You have the remote control of your life. You can only control your own thoughts and actions and not others. You don't have to wait on others in order to become to make progress or to become successful. You have more control when you stop minding other people's business. Number two, minding your own business saves time. As valuable as time is, so is your attention. Both your time and attention are finite resources. And minding your own business ensures both are invested in the stock. They'll always give you the greatest return. That is you 
you. So minding your own business pre- also present learning opportunities. Minding your own business is the best way to grow in ways that will actually benefit you because the lessons you learn will come from real life application. When you matter in other people's business, you are involving yourself in a situation where the outcome doesn't fall on you. So learn from your learn from your own situation rather try to matter into people's businesses. Now, no, 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 no. We are not talking about being selfish and look out only for yourselves, okay? And uh, the context here is when we find ourselves in an unfriendly environment, like Paul and his new believers did, and so we then need to mind our own business, all right? Try not to matter into your what's going on with your adversaries. That's their problem. That's their cross. That's that that they need to carry that on them for themselves. Three attitudes to adopt to win the respect of others. Number one, be peaceful. Be my, be at peace within yourself. Cease. Stop being vindictive. Calm yourself. Mind your own business. And then Paul said, work hard and work with your own hands. To develop self-respect, you need to accept yourself in totality with all your strengths and your weaknesses. Be happy with the person that you are and work hard to give yourself an identity. You know, no one could accuse you of anything or undermine you when you achieve something you work really hard for and are really proud of it. Now, develop, developing a solid sense of self-respect through hard work paves the way for extraordinary success in life. It helps you to command respect in society, sometimes, sometimes even your adversaries. Now, remember, hard work makes you self-sufficient to establish a sense of self-respect, while dependence will make you vulnerable to humiliation. So choose to work hard to develop some self-respect for everlasting happiness. So if you're found in a very unfriendly, hostile environment, these are the three attitudes to adopt to win the respect of others and have some self-respect within yourself too. Be peaceful. Don't be easy, easily rough it. Be calm. Calm yourself down. Mind your own business and work hard with your hands. The outcome, so that you will win the respect of others, so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Have a blessed week ahead. <laughs>